Hey y'all, in this video I'm working with a company called Cheetah Beauty and they sent me this really pretty wig which I'll be installing on myself in this video. They were also nice enough to give you guys a code if you wanted to save some coins if you wanted to shop with them. All the company's information is already in my description box and if you're interested in seeing how I put this wig on with baby hair then keep watching. Okay. What's up, y'all? I'm not even gonna act like this is my first time recording this video because it's definitely not. Like, when you guys start doing this YouTube stuff, you lose your noodles. The microphone was connected, but the whole time it's not recording. I think it's broke at this point because it never started recording. So I had to go get another microphone. Then that microphone battery was dead. You know what? That's neither here nor there. I don't really be doing like, these intros or whatever because what am I what am I talk about like what am I gonna say like I'm gonna introduce a video where you can just watch the video and see what it's about but today I have to do an intro just because of the recent growth of my channel I really do appreciate you guys for becoming my new subscribers and joining the gang thank you guys so much and thank you for my last video which I will put up here I think it's up here in this corner or you're watching a YouTube video. If the card pops up up here. I'll put that link to the video that you guys just showed out on. Thank you so much for that. Like, literally, it melts my little heart. Thank you for like all the comments, all the questions, even like the people who thought they was bullies. Thank you so much for acknowledging me. Um, thank you. You could bully me, fake bully me if that's what you think you're doing. Anywho, intro over. As far as today's video, I have something special and I'm so excited. Don't mind my, my hair because, girl, under here my braids look like, like, these braids been in my head for I don't even know how long. But today, I'm working with a company called Cheetah Beauty. Look how cute this box is. Wait, let me let the box have it shine. <laughs> Look how cute this box is. It's so cute. Cheetah Beauty has sent me a frontal wig and I'm going to be installing it on myself today. But I just want to show you guys. This is a 24. You see it says 24. I'm not making it up. Come on, like you're embarrassing me. This is a 24 inch curly wig and as you can see it comes inside this little net thing to protect the hair so thank y'all for taking that into consideration. Like I said it's a curly wig. It looks really good straight out of the box. You see this? I'm excited about it. I usually don't run my hands through curly hair because I feel like it makes it frizzy and it starts getting very tangly and shetty but look at this. Look how seamless my fingers run through this hair. Like, is this a joke? She really? Is this a joke? Look how soft this hair is. What? This cannot be no virgin hair. This gotta be like some type of chinchilla or something. I don't know. It does come pre-plucked. I don't know if you guys would be able to tell. It does come pre-plucked. But because I'm going to be wearing this wig for like a couple of days, wow, it does come pre blood. It does. Because I'm going to be wearing this wig for a couple of days, you know, I'm going to go in and add my own little razzle dazzle. So I'm going to be bleaching the knots and I'm going to be, um, you know, doing a little bit of extra plucking because that's just how I like it. But I'm not going to be filming that part because I do have two separate videos on the topics and they will be up here you guys can go watch me bleach the knots on a closure you will do the same thing for a frontal on a wig like this as you can see inside the lace is up here so you would only put your bleach up here you need not put the bleach on this part because this is not, this is like tracks, you know what I'm saying? So you would just put it where the black knots are in the front, which is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do that off camera. And I'm super excited about this wig, like, put it over my scarf. Yes, man, like. Girl, it's gonna be so cute, like. Should I give it to him like a little half up, half down? Mm, girl, give, give me like, coming to America, or should I like, 
you know, suit that thing like this, like, oh my god, cheetah beauty girl, you did not have to do me like this, this is very cute, I'm excited about it. We gonna let this wig sit around up here for a second and we're gonna see what else is in this pretty ass box. It looks like they sent me like a band that I can attach to the bottom of my wig, like sew it from each tab just for extra security because we don't want the wig to be sipping and sliding, ice skating, moonwalking, whatever you wanna call it, we don't want that. They sent me like hair clips, this is cute too. This is cute. A Fendi inspired scarf. Okay. That's cute. Some lashes. Thank you guys so much. This is like such a cute box. Like you guys just hooked me up with everything. Thank you. They send me a cap. I need a cap because we're not going to go back to what the braids look like under here. I need this cap for sure. Oh my God, my favorite color. It's even like the, the perfect shade of pink. The edges brush. One end has a comb and one end has a brush. Perfect for laying baby hair. We definitely gonna be using this video because I'm gonna have baby hairs galore. The last video that you guys loved so much, so many people commented, oh my gosh, no baby hair. Baby hair looks ridiculous. I have to disagree. I absolutely love baby hair. I love both looks, but this look, we going in with the baby hair. And they sent me like little hair care tips on their tag here, which is cute. Wash and condition hair regularly, detangle gently. Mm -hmm. And they sent me some tweezers. I'm gonna use these tweezers to pluck this hairline. I keep looking over here because I have my computer set up over here and it shows me what I can't see when I'm looking at my camera. So, you know, just to make sure I'm still focused, I'm still in the frame or whatever, but I do need to train myself to not look over there, not look over there and look over here, but okay we don't want this video to last ages but i will have all the details on this wig and on this company in the description so if i said something that was inaccurate while i was filming don't worry about that just scroll to the description and you'll see everything that you need to know but as of now i'm gonna go get this wig together honey i can't wait this hair is so soft like oh my god i'm back I have plucked this wig and bleached the knots a little bit. Plucking the wig was actually really, really, really easy. So I like that about this wig because I hate when you have to pluck a wig for hours and hours and hours because the hairline is just so thick, like I just cannot. But plucking this wig is very easy and I'm happy about that and I'm ready to put it on. I have my cap on. Like I told y'all, the braids in my head right now, we're not going to discuss the braids, but we're going to start with the lace application. So let's just get to it. This is a cap that Cheetah Beauty sent me. It's okay that this cap is actually a little bit darker than my skin color because this lace honestly looks like it's like transparent lace. So when you have like a darker cap underneath the transparent lace, I learned that it actually does look a little bit better. And I'm just going to like cut a hole in my ear right here just so this cap could lay flatter and i'm gonna try not to poke my ear out okay so now that i have this cap on and i can still see where my hairline starts through this cap so i'm just gonna literally follow my hairline doing little dots to make sure that this cap is in place and i don't know some people really don't mess with the glue but to be honest with you glue doesn't scare me at this point like i know how to take it off without taking off my hair c22 solvent literally makes it easy it's really it's really not detrimental and i just listen when i'm doing my own hair i use like i'm not gonna say that i don't have no precaution at all because that's not true if i had no precaution at all then literally i wouldn't have any edges but it's just that I'm a little bit more relaxed with how I do my own hair as opposed to how I would do like a client's hair or somebody else's hair because another thing that y'all really been asking me like oh my gosh do you take appointments do you take appointments I do not and a lot of y'all be mad that I'm not in y'all cities or whatever but I, 
I wouldn't do your hair regardless. Not trying to be mean, but I, I wouldn't do it regardless. I used to take clients. I used to have a shot where I took clients at, but I'm just not. I'm just not into it anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to be responsible for nobody here. I don't want to be responsible for nobody here, whether it turn out good, whether it turn out bad. I don't need nobody coming to me telling me how. Um, how you know I'm the one who took out the edges when you came to me you didn't have no edges anyway like what are you talking about like you came to me your edges started in the middle of your dome and you talking about I took out your edges girl I don't want those type of problems I don't really want to I just I'm just not into it I use my rat tail comb to basically smoothen out that layer of glue and I am pressing it back towards my hairline but it's fine like I'm telling you and I'm not worried about it anyways because I keep my wigs on for like three days the most if it's a closure wig forget about it I'm taking it off the same night like if I, if I put a closure wig on tonight to go somewhere I'm taking it off tonight when it's time for me to go to sleep but while I'm waiting on my lace to like turn clear which most of it is clear anyway I'm going to I don't know why sometimes I sound like I have an accent what the hell did I just say I'm going where am I from am I from Haiti am I from Jamaica like <laughs> make a decision I'm going to basically take this wig off of the mannequin head and I'm going to put makeup on the bottom to make it match my skin color a little bit better because right now if I put this on just like this it's going to look white and I'm going to look like brown and then I'm going to have like a thick ass white line across my forehead and that's going to look sick. I'm not doing that. I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses Cream Contour Palette and you guys always ask me to tag where I got it from but I just literally went to the beauty supply store and you know beauty supplies have their little bubble makeup section. You will find a, either you'll find a Ruby Kisses because Ruby Kisses is sold in like hair stores and like dollar stores and stuff like that or you'll find like another brand that is just just as good or just as you know but I'm gonna go in with this color right here it's really not my skin color my skin color would be like a mix of both of these but I don't really want it to be my skin color I want it to be darker than my skin so it could blend even better because this is a transparent lace like I said but to be honest with you the best bet with um, transparent laces is to just use a lace tint I'm just like putting the makeup all inside you guys literally cannot see what I'm doing but it really doesn't even matter like you know what I'm doing you see how I look this is what I'm doing and when I put it on the lace I'm making sure that I put it a little bit before the hairline just in case because you know sometimes when you put your wig down um you might have a little bit of lace that doesn't have any hair on it it's like before the hairline but it's still glued down to your skin so I put this makeup a little bit even in front of the hairline just in case some of the lace gets glued down to my face and there's no hair on it and it still doesn't look white and transparent I'm putting more than enough makeup on here to really you know blend into my forehead now that that is done I'm just gonna go ahead and start to take off my cap oh my god these scissors are terrible when you do this, you really want to have like some better scissors than this, honestly. Okay, so now that I got all of the excess cap off with the rusty ass scissors, I put another layer of glue just on the edge of the cap just so the, the very beginning of the cap could lay down flat. And this layer I'm focusing it on the edge of the cap but as you can see like I'm brushing it forward like this so that it can still smoothen out the very edges of the cap but it can still serve as like my first layer of glue I hope I'm making sense because in my head I'm totally making sense It's not like I measure how far out I want the glue, but I know the sides of my hairline start right about here. 
and I kind of just wanted to like cut off one inch of my forehead in the center because the center of my hairline starts like right here and that's why that's why I look like I have a long ass forehead because the center of my hairline like my widow's peak like starts right here but then like my edges like my sideburns like start right here so it was like a gap right here in between where this start and between where this start so I kind of just like to make my hairline just be even like Kim Kardashian and them you know how they have the straight hairline that's kind of what I like so I know I'm going to want the glue like up to here it, it'll cut off like one inch of my forehead I'm not gonna look like an alien and that's perfect that's exactly what I want period <laughs> look at my BBs in the back that is crazy. The sun is like peeking through. It's making the brightness look terrible and it's truly pissing me off. But what am I supposed to do about that? I literally don't know. See, now the brightness is coming back because now the sun is the sun is playing its role. Now the brightness is coming back. So I'm looking, okay, let's, 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 let's explain this well. I'm seeing exactly where the clear layer starts in my hair, on my hairline, I mean on my skin, on my forehead, whatever, and it starts right here. And I'm seeing exactly where this hairline starts and I'm going to try my best to really put the beginning of that hairline right on the beginning of the glue. And I'm just holding it down like this for just a second. And I'm going to take the back of my comb and I'm going to comb through it like this. Just on the middle part to make sure that that is tacked down. I'm going to take the sides and I'm literally going to do the same thing. I'm seeing where this glue starts and I'm going to try my darnest to put the hairline where I see the glue. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut a straight line right above my ear where the lace is not needed. And I'm going to cut the rest of this lace off too because why would I need lace all the way back here? What is what is it gonna do for me? Absolutely nada, mommy. Nada. And then I'm gonna take my ear from out of there. Make sure that this is flat. If it needs some more glue, it needs some more glue. But for right now, I'm just gonna try my my darnest to just squish this down. guys so this video has officially became a voiceover i know so ghetto super ghetto but listen there's so many ghetto things in the world we just have to learn how to adjust right now i'm just cutting the lace from above my ears on the other side as i did the other side before i take my razor comb and just cut off all of the excessive lace that i don't need anymore and when i'm done with that i'll be right back You guys, I literally have no clue why I keep calling this a razor comb. It's definitely just called a razor. So, I don't know why. I, I literally do that in every video. But as you guys can see, this um, lace glue will be, will be like, will remain nameless. But y'all do see that clear layer of glue that I had prior to adding some more, right? I just want to make sure that I'm not the only one who saw it because literally I had to like put lace glue over and over and over and over again in order for this thing to be tacked down if you guys peep what brand it is then you guys peep but i will not be naming this brand because i just couldn't believe it like do y'all see that as much as i combed the lace through the layer of glue that i did i did two layers of glue and as much as i combed over it and it still wasn't sticking down oh it had me sick it had me sick Sick. I was so mad but if this happens to you then just like chill take a deep breath in because it is annoying 
cut some excess lace off if you figure that you don't need it it doesn't have hair on it anyway cut it off like I just did but add the glue under the parts that are not sticking let it dry clear you still have to smooth it out that layer of glue that you do like you can't just add the glue and leave it clumpy like that you still have to smoothen it out with a rat tail with the popsicle stick whatever the case and then you have to try to go ahead and tack it down and you have to press your comb into it I think earlier I said I'm gonna squish this into this but no literally squishing is not what you want to do because then it's just gonna be whiteness under your lace and that's even worse so yeah I don't know how many layers I had to eventually put in order for this to stick down I literally wasn't even keeping track I just wanted the, the wig to be down and I didn't understand what was happening but this just goes to show that listen putting a wig on sometimes it's not the easiest thing in the world it's not the hardest but it's not the easiest and sometimes you just need a little bit of patience and you just gotta get it done I literally couldn't believe that I was living to witness something like this I just couldn't believe it but when I finally got the wig on it looked like a dream so that just goes to show that Cheetah Beauty has really thin lace which lays down really nice as long as you follow the appropriate steps you definitely have to you know get some makeup on that lace for sure unless your skin is just really really fair but as you can see or as you already saw I parted out my baby hair it's just like one vertical straight line going across my hairline and then I blow dried the hairline on a heat setting I didn't want to go in with the mousse right away because this lace glue was already giving me a hard time and I didn't want to just put the mousse and have it lift right away so I did blow dry for a little bit and now I'm going in with my hot comb because I'm going to be doing the half up, half down style. And I really want the ponytail part to be really like, um, what's the word? To be really flat and I want it to be really, you know, like laid. So just to make like my life a little bit easier right now, I'm just going to go ahead and wet this hair. I'm, I'm going to go for the wet look at the end of this anyway, but I think I end up wetting it again. But for right now, I did go ahead and wet, out, wet the hair and brush it out. And I'm using my wax stick to further mold the front of my hair where the ponytail is going to be. When you use a wax stick and you go back in with the hot comb, it definitely like melts the lace even better not really melts as in the part that's glued down but it makes it flatter it makes it flatter it makes it easier to get flatter and it just comes out literally like a dream when I believed the coast to be clear and that my wig would not start ice skating I took the band off and as you can see going darker with my cap and with my makeup had a positive effect so just take that tip when you're working with a lace that is extremely lighter than your skin and because I had the baby hair um, forward when I tied my hair down, it kind of got stuck in the lace glue. So I'm just combing it out, making sure that they're soft before I start laying them. And making sure that I have enough hair parted out in order to achieve the baby hair look that I want. And once I have all the hair parted out, I'm just taking the rest of the hair out of my way because we hate when we grab onto the longer hair when you're trying to do baby hair. It's like the most annoying thing in the world. When I'm doing the baby hair in the center of my forehead here, I like them to be shorter. So I cut them shorter. And on the sides, I like them to be a little bit longer because I like the fact that like it just swoops into the rest of the hair. Like y'all just gonna have to see in the end what I mean, but you follow me. Now I'm just going to start going in with the edges brush that Cheetah Beauty sent me and my mousse, I used the Nairobi mousse to um, shape my baby hair. Listen, this is sped up so I don't want nobody to think that you do baby hair in five minutes and then you're done with it. Please, like, <laughs> let's be realistic. I probably was here for like 10 minutes maybe even 12 I was trying to work really fast because I did not trust this glue and I didn't want it to start sliding because of the moisture of the mousse so I was trying to work fast but I still was here for about like 10 12 minutes trying to get my baby hair to the point of me liking it to the point of me saying okay I could go ahead and tie my hair back down so I don't need nobody to think that this is just like a quick thing because it's not you need patience like do you want to look good or do you not want to look good I mean
yours the choice is really yours but you have to be patient and I'm not really explaining like what I'm doing right now because I literally have a whole tutorial dedicated to baby hair it was on a closure but the tips that I give you in that video could be the same tips that you apply to a frontal or to a lace front wig or to a full lace wig literally baby hair is baby hair I'm not really doing anything much different so the only thing that I would say is kind of have to work fast because you don't want the lace to start lifting and being annoying if you don't like how the baby hair looks like how I'm doing right now I don't like it there because I felt like it was a little bit further on the other side comb it back into the rest of the hair and part out another section and get your baby hair right like it's fine to do that get it right do it until you're happy but also don't take forever because I don't know depending on your glue you might not have that type of time So when I was happy enough, I tied it back down and I blow dried it on the hot setting. For like a customer or a client, I would recommend that you do this to like 30, 20 to 40 minutes, 20 to 40 minutes. But for myself, I blow dried it probably for like 10 minutes and then I was over it. Because like I said, with my hair, I'm way more relaxed than what I would do for somebody else or what I would recommend for somebody else who don't really, you know, know what they're doing like that but I'm going back in with my hot comb my favorite tool when styling is like so essential your wig will never be the best that it could be if you don't have a hot comb and I really do stand firmly on that I don't even care if I just burnt myself like I stand firmly on the fact that you need to use a hot comb regardless and now I'm parting out the portion the portion of my wig that'll be in the ponytail if you notice that the part kind of looks like zigzag or I didn't do that on purpose that's not the style the thing is is that if you rewind to the beginning of the video you'll notice that on a lace front wig like this the middle of the part it goes back further than the sides so the middle I believe goes back like about six inches whereas the sides probably only go back like three maybe half that probably so that's why it kind of looks like that I'm getting enough hair to be in a ponytail so I could have a tail but I'm still leaving enough hair out so that it can cover the tracks in the back and I do use the hot comb in order to um, flatten out the back portion that will be down like I just did and I'm just gonna go on with my hot comb a little bit more just to make sure that this ponytail is going to be so laid like if I go out and it's a windstorm no parts of this ponytail are going to fly out of place that's what I wanted and in order to help me do that I used the got to be free spray as well which helped me lay down the flyaways which will make like it'll make the ponytail truly be molded it's not going to go anywhere once you get it right like this it's not going to go anywhere so before I actually tie down this piece of the ponytail I put the back in the ponytail as well just so I won't grab Scar's hair and like be annoyed because that's just like so annoying and so many things during this video was getting on my nerves and that that was not going to be something that was going to get on my nerves so I had to tie it up. So after I put the ponytail in I'm taking a small piece of the ponytail from the back and I'm basically going to drench it in the got to be free spray and I'm going to wrap it around just so you won't see the rubber band. It calls for like a more polished look but it's not necessarily necessary. You could definitely just put your ponytail in with a rubber band or with a scrunchie or whatever and walk out the house like you'll, you'll still be cute. But if you're like one of those people, you're very like, I don't know, like polished, like everything has to be perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't want nobody to see no rubber band. Then go ahead and wrap the hair around like this. Use the got to be or spritz to get it to stay. And then I blow dry it, blue dry, I blow dried it in the cool setting in order to make sure that it really was still and that, you know, it was molded and that 
this wouldn't like unravel on me for any you know for any for one false move it's not gonna start unraveling so at this point i'm pretty much done all i'm gonna do now is um wet the hair again nothing is in my spray bottle but water i'm wetting the hair and i'm gonna um brush through it with a wig brush i see people call it like a denim brush as well so like just use one of those brushes after you wet it and you should be fine and i also did the same thing for the rest of the hair but for the rest of the hair i did also add a little bit of mousse just to define the curls even more and that was pretty much all i did that's pretty much all it took to make these curls pop the hair was already super soft when it came out the box and it was still soft when i wet it and when i brushed through it it was super easy to do that and I'm just showing you guys like how pretty it looked. It was really, really, really cute. I can't even like, I can't even front. It was really cute. okay so pretty much we're done we're wrapping it up now i took the band off and then i just brushed out combed out the baby hair just a little bit to soften them up a little bit um they'll still mold in the direction that you had them in originally so don't worry about combing it out and you see how this little part right here just looks so cute if it was swooped up like that so i just sprayed it with a got to be and then i blow dried it on a cool setting to make sure that it stayed like that because i just thought that was so cute like Oh my god i just loved it so much and <laughs> i did the same thing to the other side because i just thought it was just so cute how that little swoop like i don't know how to explain it but it just looks so cute and it looks so natural it looks like a real person's hairline when you do that so that was pretty much it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video Get to leave me any questions or any i don't know opinions that you guys have in the comments you guys know i respond i don't just leave y'all hanging like that and yeah the, let me know like what you think about this hair if you think this hair is as cute as i think it is or if you think it's like ugly because i don't know i think it's very 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 cute and i had to go somewhere after this like i had to go somewhere i had to go on a date but we're not gonna talk about that i'll tell y'all like i'll tell y'all about my dates another time but i'm about to go do my makeup because i gotta get cute so boom here go my makeup i need my makeup put on some lashes you know <laughs> but this is how the hair looked when it dried out which is still super cute thank you so much cheetah beauty for sending this to me again you guys everything is in the description box as far as this company as far as the wig details and save your coins save your money use my code chachi20 to get a discount from them i will see you guys next time on another video so i'm out of here bye